ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة What do you say about those who verbally abuse and speak ill of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia? Then not only the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, against any Muslim country, anyone who speaks against the rulers of a Muslim country, then he has opposed the sunnah. This is the bravery that the people of sunnah speak with. Not because they pay me, because they do not. Not because I have any dunya dealings with them, because I do not. Rather, it is in opposition to the sunnah of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to speak about the rulers. Whether they are pious or whether they are tyrannical makes no difference. If they are pious, you do not speak against them. It is backbiting. And it is slanderous and it opposes the sunnah. If they are tyrannical, it is not allowed to speak against them publicly because it is to backbite them and to slander them and to follow the path of the people of bid'ah. That's why Imam al-Barbahari rahimahullah ta'ala said, if you find a man who makes dua, just dua against the ruler, then know that he is a person of hawa, a person of misguidance and desires and innovation. If you find a man making dua for the guidance of the Muslim ruler and his good and his rectification, then know that he is a person of sunnah. For indeed, Fudayl ibn Iyad, rahimahullah ta'ala, who died in the year 187 after the hijrah, he said, if I had one dua, that would be answered. Then I would make it for the rectification of the ruler. So they said to him, why would you make it for the ruler if you had one dua? He said, because if I had one dua and it was for myself, then that is only for myself. But if I make dua for the guidance and rectification of the Muslim ruler and he's good, then that will rectify him and rectify all of his citizens, all of the subjects. The Prophet wasallam said, if any of you see something, that displeases him or he hates from the Muslim ruler, then do not make that public. Who said that? Rasulullah. If you see something from the Muslim ruler that you hate from him, then do not speak about it publicly. Rather, take him by his hand, if you are able, and advise him. If he takes your advice, then that is good. And if he does not, then you have fulfilled your duty. Thus, the Prophet wasallam said that you will have rulers over you. And they will not follow my sunnah. And they will not follow my guidance. And some of them, they will have the hearts of devils in the bodies of men. That's what the Prophet wasallam said. You will have rulers, plural, a'imma. You will have rulers, meaning many rulers over you. They will not follow my sunnah. Second. They will not follow my guidance. Third, they will have the hearts of devils in the bodies of men. Fourth, Hudayfa said, Ya Rasulullah, what should I do? If I reach that, he said, hear and obey the Amir. Hear and obey the ruler. Even with these four traits of evil, the Prophet ﷺ still called him Amir. Doesn't follow the sunnah, doesn't follow the guidance, has the heart of a devil, yet the Prophet ﷺ still called him the Amir with all of these evil traits. Hear and obey the Amir. Then he mentioned two more traits as if to show you. He said, even if he beats you in your back and he forcibly takes your wealth, and then he repeated, hear and obey the Amir. Hadith in Sahih Muslim. Hudayf ibn al Yaman with a version reported in Sahih al-Bukhari, in Kitab al-Fitan and imara This is the sunnah that we follow. The ijma' of the salam, as Usama bin Zayd, radiallahu anhu, the sahabi said, when they said to him, will you not speak against the ruler? Who was the ruler? Usman at that time. Will you not speak against the ruler? He said, I will not speak against him, because I will not open a door that was never opened before me. Who said that? Sahabi. Sahaba saying, I will not speak about him because I will not open a door that was never opened before me. Showing that in the time of the Prophet and Abu Bakr and Umar and in Uthman's time, there was no, it was not allowed to speak against the rulers because Usama bin Zayd the Sahabi, don't bring me a Khariji of 2018 and 2017 and 2016. 
Don't bring me a person from the 1950s and 60s. I brought you Usama bin Zaid. Bring me an alim like him today. Bring me a scholar like Usama bin Zaid, radiallahu anhu. When he said, I will not open a door that was never opened before me. So who are you in the 20th century to open a door? When the Sahabi said, I will not open a door. I was speaking against the Muslim rulers. So it is forbidden to speak against the rulers. Make dua for them. If you have something to say, then use words that are lenient and soft and gentle. And write them a letter. O oh, King so-and-so. O oh, President so-and-so. O oh, Amir so-and-so. Write him. I advise you with that which I advise myself. I advise myself with the taqwa of Allah and I advise you with the taqwa of Allah. Obey Allah and obey the messenger. Establish the deen of Allah in your land. Establish the sunnah in your land and for you is Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his message has promised. Advise them. No harm. Ad-deenu nasiha. Even to the a'imma, as the Prophet sallallahu said. To the a'imma of the Muslims. To the rulers of the Muslims. Advise them. No harm. But you do not publicly speak against them. You do not take part in rallies and demonstrations. And you certainly do not raise the sword against them. Or plot assassinations against them. Or cause corruption in their lands. By killing people and, and carrying out suicide missions and so on. All of that is haram. By the kitab and the sunnah and the ijma. And that's a topic in itself. Barakallahu feekum.